Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2020 Paper 2 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. The value of the limit, limit x tending to pi by 2, numerator being 4 root 2 sin 3x plus sin x, denominator being 2 sin 2x sin 3x by 2 plus cos 5x by 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 cos 2x plus cos 3x by 2. This is a single digit integer type question. Let's solve it. So as you look numerator and denominator and as you see x is tending to pi by 2, you'll find numerator and denominator both are tending to 0. And you may be tempted in using L'Hopital. Now uh, if you use L'Hopital, you would end up using L'Hopital twice. So what we'll see is a method which involves general trigonometric transformation and using general trigonometric formula. Let's proceed. So limit x tending to pi by 2. 4 root 2 is a constant which you can let it be just like that. Sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. Now here I can let sin uh, 2 sin 2x sin 3x by 2 to be uh, you know just like that and I can club cos 5x by 2 minus cos 3x by 2. Now uh, also I can club 1 plus cos 2x. So what does this become? This essentially becomes the numerator I can write as 4 root 2 sin 2x I can write as 2 sin x cos x so it becomes 4 sin x cos square x and in denominator I may say 2 sin 2x sin 3x by 2 plus cos c minus cos d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin d minus c by 2 or you may say minus sin x uh, by 2. So here uh, this will become x. Now this is 2x only. And here it becomes 1 plus cos 2x is 2 cos square x. Now again I will further manipulate the denominator. The numerator I will keep as it is. 4 root 2 times 4 sin x cos square x will divide by in denominator I'll take 2 sin 2x common and I am left with sin 3x by 2 minus sin x by 2 and also minus 2 root 2 cos square x. Now I can further change the denominator as sin 2x I may write as 2 sin x cos x so it becomes 4 sin x cos x and sin c minus sin d is what 2 sin c minus d by 2 cos c plus d by 2 and this term I leave as it is now you can cancel cos square x from numerator and denominator and now as you put limit x tending to pi by 2 it becomes 16 root 2 multiply by 1 divide by 4 multiply by 1 2 times multiply by 1 by root 2 minus 2 root 2 so this essentially becomes 16 root 2 divide by 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2 which is 2 root 2 hence 8 is my answer now it may look lengthy because I have written each and every step very systematically in a detailed way but when you do it for yourself during exam it would not take that much of a time so my final answer is 8 thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question